What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video. Fabrizio Mano shared that Liverpool are scouting a Flamengo hugely talented midfielder called Joao Gomez. No, he's not the twin brother of Joe Gomez. <laughs> I heard some jokes about that already on Liverpool's Reddit forum and the Flamengo midfielder Flamengo, by the way, are the powerhouse club in Brazilian football. They are one of the biggest clubs in South America. And remember, Liverpool played them in the Club World Cup final, which Liverpool eventually won one nearly in extra time through Bobby Firmino's goal. But Flamengo won the South American Champions League, which is the Copa Libertadores, in that season. And they are still going strong in the Brazilian league. So they, he has a brilliant attributes. And in this video, we will take a deep dive into what kind of midfielder he is. And if Liverpool eventually decide to sign him, what he could bring. But we are scouting him according to Fabrizio Mano. And uh, he said in an interview, that Liverpool are a team that he would play for. I have the greatest desire to play for them. Playing in the Champions League is my biggest dream in football and uh the players uh, growing up in South America dream of playing in Europe where the big boy teams are with the big money and of course the big leagues and the big Champions League, uh, they are watching it in South America and Joe Mario has this dream of playing in the Champions League. This is what I'm talking about, always rated Joao Gomez, the lost brother of Joe Gomez. These jokes are just uh, hilarious on, uh, on Reddit, I love it. So uh, also a Brazilian journalist has shared that Liverpool are lining up or trying to make a January move for Joao Gomes before his stock gets too high and right now his uh, market value as you can see on Transfermarkt is just just 10 million pounds is his market value his contract expires in 2025 and he already has quite a few games under his belt even though he's only 21 years old he he is a defensive midfielder by trade, so don't expect him to have great goal scoring numbers. But two goals and two assists is pretty respectable. And what is crucial is that he is not an injury prone player. He played 44 and 43 games in the past two seasons for Flamengo in every competition. And according to the journalist Joelio Miguel Neto, Liverpool, because of their ongoing struggle with injuries in the midfield, are looking to sign him and Joao Gomes previously admitted that Liverpool are a team I would play for I have the greatest desire to play for them and he has huge admiration for Jurgen Klopp's team and if Liverpool's interest in genuine and I think uh, this uh, you know tweet from the journalist and also Joao Mario publicly jo sorry Joao Gomes publicly saying that he would be interested in uh, playing for Liverpool you wouldn't say that unless there is already some interest from Liverpool and Liverpool are scouting him according to Fabrizio Mano so we have a big advantage over the other teams Joao Gomes is already a big fan of Liverpool and his manager Paulo Sosa who you might remember him uh, being the manager of Swansea City previously and other teams as well he's a player that has a unique characteristic in our squad in the offensive and defensive ball capabilities and uh, he's very strong physically and I think Liverpool need more midfielders who are strong physically and the Liverpool scouts have been monitoring and scouting him and Fabrizio Mann also admitted that, admitted that he rates Gomez as a very good player Liverpool fans will hope that the club can find a solution in midfield field soon enough and Gomez certainly seems like a top young talent who is worth keeping on, uh, an eye on in the next few months. See, uh, Fabrizio Mano said, I think he's a very good player but he needs some steps before being ready for, Le for the Liverpool level. Liverpool have monitored Joao Gomez with their scouts as many other top European clubs did. At the moment there is nothing else to this story, no official bid or negotiation but Liverpool are watching him and also more and more Brazilian media outlets are are picking up this story as I make this video. And do you remember Arturo Vidal who used to play for Barcelona and Juventus I think? This guy Joao Gomes has relegated him to uh, the bench because Joao Gomes is having such a great time at Flamengo. He's starting ahead of Arturo Vidal and Gomes has already started 15 of the 26 league matches for Flamengo this season. Uh, he also stood out with uh, his ball winning ability 
and um, he's making four and a half tackles per 90 minutes in the 2022 Brazilian league season. Only Rubens is making more tackles per 90 minutes. That's not to say Gomez is primarily just a ball winner in the middle of the park. Yes, his greatest strength is arguably his ability to rob an opponent of possession. But when he does win the ball, he doesn't simply rely on others to then carry out the attacking duties. Rather, Gomes is prepared to do all he can to pry open defenses, which has helped boost his reputation. And as you can see, he's second in uh, the most tackles made per 90 minutes in the Brazilian league, which is really impressive as well. 42 players have attempt attempted three or more through balls in the Brazilian league season and Gomes's through ball accuracy is 66 percent which makes him 10th best in Brazil's top tier so when he does get further forward he's able to spot a runner to play a defense splitting pass and when he's in possession in a deeper position Gomes has the means be to beat a marker to help open up angles to exploit a key attribute for any central midfielder in the modern game now is to it's to need to bring the ball forward to allow his team to swarm opponents gomesh carries out this role very well having returned a dribble success rate of 72 percent that is the eighth best of 125 players to have attempted 25 or more dribbles in the brazilian league this season he's able to get up the pitch well he affords the ideal verticality that appeals to Premier League teams, Liverpool in particular, would benefit from a centre midfielder of his skill set. The Reds rely on quick transitions to help hurt opponents with at least one midfielder required to get up the field to support the offensive. Gomes has what it takes to carry out this duty for this high octane side that is in need of an investment, that is sure. Of course, uh, you know, we, we already spoke in, at length about how Liverpool's midfield are in need of uh, young players and players who are ready to step into the first team. And what is crucial is that the Brasileiro, the Brazilian league, is going to be wrapping up a week before the World Cup. So Liverpool would have the chance to make their move for João Gomes in the January transfer window to help him bed in ahead of next season where of course they are going to get the full uh, potential of Joe Gomes unleashed and I think uh, you know being uh, the, in the off season Flamengo would be more willing to negotiate because in January uh, in Brazil there is like a um, mid uh, between season break. Gomes may not be ready to make the leap to the Premier League right now, but his all action style of play means he would be a good fit for Liverpool's side, at least in theory. With the player himself already eager to move to Liverpool, that will leave the uh, Liverpool in pole position to sign Gomes in what prove what could prove to be a very shrewd, astute transfer. He would be able to play all three centre midfield roles in Jurgen Klopp's favoured 4-3-3 system and this versatility to his game is an added bonus that may help Liverpool firm up their rumoured interest in the Brazilian. Also, a Flamengo supporter said that this kid is amazing as a CDM, he's great, who is all over the pitch all the time. He can also make some good long passes, however, he's still young so it's expected that he still has a few matches where he makes a lot of mistakes due to inexperience and a lack of calmness lack of composure but he has been developing a lot this year and he has a lot of potential so if Liverpool want to get a really great promising midfielder for a cheap price who could develop and become a world beater potentially in the next few years then sign this guy his transfer value is just 10 million euros we could get him for 10 15 million pounds and he could develop develop into a 50 or maybe even a 100 million pound player in uh, the next five years because Liverpool have a brilliant environment for nurturing and developing young players. Of course, uh, the sarcastic comments are out. Uh, some uh, Liverpool fans are saying, we will let him go to Porto and Dortmund and then be outpriced in a bidding war with Real Madrid in a few years' time. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh man, I love the sense of humor of Liverpool fans. Another Brazilian football fan who is watching the Brazilian league very often said that he's really good. Definitely a name to be called up to our national team after the World Cup. Flamengo just signed Vidal 
but the Joao Gomes is starting over him. He's a defensive midfielder, the type of player who is everywhere on the pitch, never gives up, he has got good passing skills, not very good at shooting though, of course that's expected because he's a defensive midfielder. Others are saying, who watched highlights of him, that uh, he's very good at winning the ball while staying on his feet and also he has good dribbling and he can hold and carry the ball very well. If we were judging him by only these qualities, he would be world class, uh, but these qualities are what Gini Vinadum was offering every time he played for us, so might be a smart transfer to do, but these highlights also hide flaws he might make and he might have, so take this with a pinch of salt. Of course, uh, because he's so young, he's just 21, he has some games where he's not the best and he has some games where he gives the ball away or he makes the wrong decision but that will come with time. Name me a midfielder who at 21 was at, at the best of his abilities and he didn't improve after. Oh and Flamengo I just uh, tweeted that they extended the contract of Joao Gomez until 2027 but probably just to maximize the value that they can get for him if Liverpool or another big club decide uh, to move uh, for him because Joao Gomes, who is in of course the Flamengo kit is a really really awesome player and they just wanted to tie him down to a long contract so in case a big club comes calling then they can ask for the biggest transfer value possible so that's not really good news from a Liverpool point of view to be honest and also big update uh, Arthur and Fabio Carvalho took part in Liverpool's under 21 game against Leicester yesterday here is their here is their picture taking part in the game and what is awesome is that the under 21 side actually won at Leicester Ned Phillips featured alongside Arthur and Carvalho as well it was a one nil win Leighton Stewart's first goal was the difference uh, for the young Liverpool side between the side and also Stewart for Liverpool under 21s missed a late penalty in the second half as well so Liverpool could have won even uh, with a bigger margin. And Ned Phillips, Arthur Melo and Fabio Carvalho were all in the Liverpool under 21 starting lineup, which is really, really promising that Arthur Melo and Fabio Carvalho are building up their match fitness, match sharpness. And, it, and the, the under 21 manager, Luta, said that it gives players an opportunity if they need minutes to come in and play some minutes, play in the way we play. So it was really good. They are top level professionals. They add to our group as well, not just in terms of our performance, but our young lads get to see what elite looks like if it works both ways we can give them some minutes but they are able to show us their professionalism and why they are where they are so it's a great uh, for the young players as well because they are playing with role mothers and it's great for the older players as well because they get fitness match sharpness up and everything and Arthur and Clark actually and Arthur and Carvalho sorry and also Ned Phillips actually played the full match for the full 90 minutes they weren't substituted which is pretty awesome and this is how the Premier League 2 which is the uh, development league of the Premier League of course where the Premier League under 21 Liverpool team plays uh, this is how they stand so at the moment they only have uh, nine points after getting only their second win against Leicester they got a 2-2 draw against Man United previously and a 3-0 draw against Tottenham so there are a lot of goals in the development league and Liverpool were you know finally winning a game but next up we play Arsenal in the development league and I like to check out how the Liverpool reserve team is doing from time to time because it's great to monitor some young players players progress as well. Fabio Arroyo also has a column on the Liverpool's website and he said that he was impressed with Costas Simicas very much. It's a shame that Andy Robertson is injured of course but uh, this is uh, good for Simicas' confidence level as well. And uh, Aureli also said, I believe Arthur Mero is an interesting addition to this Liverpool squad. It's obviously great. The Brazilian legacy at Liverpool expands. I hope he has the same success as other Brazilian players had at Liverpool. From what I know about him, he should really fit well, really well in Liverpool's system. He's a player that likes to constantly be in the game, touching the ball, controlling the pace of the play, liking to be dynamic, similar to what Thiago likes to do in a sense. Here in Brazil, the expectations for Artur Melo were really high prior to his move to Europe. He couldn't be in a better place to fulfill his potential than at Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp. Of course he will need some time to adapt to the team and the Premier League. What I had to adjust to, to most was the intensity of the game. I had to learn to play 
more physical, to think more quickly without losing your technique. The pace can compromise your quality sometimes. His adaptation can be helped massively by the many Brazilians and Portuguese speakers in the squad. And uh, I'm not sure if you know, but Fabio Aurelio was the first Brazilian player that joined Liverpool in 2006. He didn't speak any English. The Scouse accent was also a bit different to the one in our English lessons, but uh, I think uh, he was really, really good when he was on top of his game, but Aurelio was also hampered by injuries that harmed his career a lot, I think. And that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.